Okay, student, welcome back. So let's discuss what we're going to learn in this uh, part one training. So objective for the certifications are, we'll go through the list, but in the part one, we are going to cover getting started with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI. This is going to be around 4% of the exam questions. So we're going to do the describe the key features and components of OCI. We're going to work on explaining OCI concepts and terminology, working with identity and access management, IAM service, which is around 8% of the exam questions. So we're going to work with the basic IAM concepts, explain resource locations, create compartments, users, groups, and policies, locate and view resource identifiers. Then we're going to move on to creating a virtual cloud network, VCN, which is a major chunk, 10% of questions are going to be from there. Explain networking concepts and terminology, describe a VCN and its components, everything which makes up the VCN, and we are going to create a VCN in OCI. We've got a lab for that. Then we'll move on to launching bare metal and virtual compute instances. So that covers 7% of the exam questions. We'll describe the components of compute service, including shapes, images, and custom images. We're going to have a lab to create and manage a compute virtual machine uh, instance. We're going to move on to creating and managing block storage volumes. Again, 7% will be covered there. We'll explain the difference between a block storage and object storage and how you're going to manage the block storage volumes. Then we'll move on to managing, creating and managing object storage. We're going to describe the features and benefits of object storage. We're going to create and manage buckets and now we're going to upload objects to those buckets. Then we'll move on to load balancer, which is part of a virtual network. This is around 3%, but this, though it has a low number of questions, but it's a very important topic to understand how the whole network works. So we're going to talk about the terminology and concepts. We're going to set up a load balancer in a lab. Then we'll move down to setting up a domain name system, which is 5%. Uh, we're going to discuss the concept. We're going to describe the features and benefits why you need a domain name system. We're going to create and manage one DNS records. Finally, we're going to create launching a database instance, which is 8%. That's a major chunk. We're going to describe the features, benefits, and use cases, why you need to have a database service. And again, we're going to have a lab to create and manage a database instance. So we're going to cover around 55% on this training. And once you are confident, once you go through the study schedule and get comfortable with this, then you can sign up for the part two training which we can uh, go through it's going to be advanced database services which is 10 percent it's going to look at advanced features like data guard uh, primary and standby databases bring your own licenses data encryption uh, real application clusters how we uh, database could have multiple instances for high availability and exadata which is uh, oracle engineered uh, machines where the storage the compute and the database and the network everything is in one box then we'll uh, learn how to migrate databases to cloud from your on-premise uh, data center we are going to look at the advanced networking concepts uh, manage your cloud network components such as vpn Fast Connect, multiple VNICs and IP addresses. 
we'll ev evaluate the different options of connecting to the internet. This is going to be around 7%. DevOps. We are look, going to look at the DevOps tools like Terraform, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure CLI, which uh, you will see a glimpse of that in the part one training, and uh, Software Development Kit SDK. We'll con configure Terraform, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure CLI. Again, we are going to do this in part one, so you should get an idea of those. And SDK will do in the advance, the part two. Then we'll move on to the advanced identity and access management, design, federation, and various identity providers. So we're going to look at the difference between a federation and uh, uh, going without a federation providers. We're going to create instance principles with dynamic groups, uh, DG. And finally, which is the major chunk, it's we're going to architect a high availability HA using OCI. We're going to develop a system which is high availability behind a load balancer and, and which is going to span across multiple availability domain. So if one of them goes down, so one of the data center goes down, you still have the other one to work with. Then we are going to architect disaster recovery DR using OCI. How we can come out of a lost data center and how we are going to restore that. We could do design for security using OCI and we are going to identity the use, identify the use cases for OCI, OCI classic and cloud at customer. Why you would need to use all the different uh, uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Why would you need an uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure second generation or the classic or cloud at customer? So this is going to be around 45%, but this is going to be more advanced. So you definitely need to take this first part of training and get very comfortable and confident. So which come, so the part two should be very easy for you once you understand the fundamentals of the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So let's move forward and uh, get into the training.